Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the vlog. I think it's Tuesday. I'm not 100% sure. Let's check the watch. Hang on. Yep, it's Tuesday, the 26th, and it is 7.40 approximately, and I have breakfast included in my room. Again, a super bonus. Not only is it a better hotel, but you get free food. So uh, let's go downstairs eat up and then tomorrow I'll do another food review of this buffet or whatever breakfast is going to be happening downstairs so uh, yeah I need to do a food review of, of that since I have two of them and uh, but I wanted to uh, honor you ladies and gentlemen for being my vloggers so let's go downstairs and uh, let's go eat that's so funny Tofu. Sesame seed. Seasoned seaweed. Salted plum. So we've got our assorted fish. Breakfast fish. Deep fried fish. French fries. <laughs> Sausages. Ham. Egg. This is what is this called? Spanish omelet. And sour meatballs. Dessert, I would imagine. Guessing. Yep, pancake with maple syrup. Natto. Of course, we'll have some natto. Chili tofu. Let's so start with that. Start with this. Possibly get one of these. I need a Japanese omelet. Grab the natto. Gotta try one of these pancakes with maple syrup. <laughs> and then the pork extract of pig. Nice miso soup. Rice porridge. Mm. I'm gonna try this stuff. Looks good. I saw people putting this on. I was watching people for a bit. Let's put that on the top. Probably like dried fish. Oops, missed it. Oh, we gotta have one piece of pineapple. That's good. Let's see. When they seat you, they put a card, and then it says you have to return it to the receptionist so you know they know this spot is empty. They can put another single person here. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna try some miso soup first. Rice, some kind of a topping. Again, probably dried fish. Mm -hmm. These are the little fish things that Eric and I ate at the market. He was explaining these things to me. The egg is divided into pieces for you. If you don't have to cut it. I check out the salmon. Major protein, boys and girls. Mackerel. Mmm. Mackerel's better. I'm gonna do our natto. So I believe that's like soy, mustard, and then a bean curd. I don't think it's soy, it's something else. 
Mustard, of course. It's kind of a runny mustard. Let me mix it up. Doesn't look good when it's in curls. So hard to eat. Get the mustard. The mustard makes it. It's disgusting. Not the easiest thing to eat with a big beard. That's all I can get. I'm going to try the pancake. It's more like a slimy donut. It's kind of sweet and savory at the same time. It's definitely not a treat. It's not like a sweet treat. Let's get this pork. Mmm. That was better. If they could just change the name. That was sweet. Kids would love that. All done. Let's grab a coffee. This is the sugar. It says right on it. Very, very small creamers. I wish they just had like a milk dispenser or something. That would make me a little bit more happy than wasting that every time. Even on the train yesterday, they the same thing. I'm probably going to have two of these. Maybe more. Bye. <clears throat> that is acceptable. It'll have to do. Well, that was breakfast. If uh, it wasn't part of the room, it was like about fifteen dollars Canadian, twelve hundred yen. Love it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you guys get the dry run of the real food review that's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, Right now, it's gonna pack up, kind of, kind of tidy up this disaster of a mess. It is actually organized, but it's a mess. Yeah, let's pack up and we're off to Osaka Castle. I was looking around for the little thing. I just thought these were stickers, but these are the things you put on. No cleanup today. Stick that to your door. Nice. You're gonna have a morning clean, afternoon clean. Awesome. I just wanted to say one more thing before I go. Uh, this hotel, if it was in Tokyo, would be like probably $250 a night. Just the size of the room, the quality of the room, the quality of that breakfast was amazing. And to include that into the price of this. And again, I got this room for $200 for two nights. So if you can look around, you can find these amazing deals. I actually thought it was... It was a different hotel because I looked at so many in the area and there was one just a bit south of here and uh, that's the one I thought I had picked. I completely forgot to pick this one. Again, when I came up to the front of this hotel, I thought it was the wrong hotel. I'm like, there's no way I, I got this hotel because it's too nice and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I got a good deal. All right, guys, we are off to Osaka Castle. I am now using my large camera rig. So it's my Canon 70D. The big fuzzy microphone on top and uh, I just want to be able to take some great pictures of the castle plus give you that like, next level vlog. Let's do this.
So right now I'm in Shin Osaka Station. I have to go to Osaka Station, which confused me yesterday. So I was telling the guy I want to go to Osaka Station. And he's confused because we're in Osaka Station. So he's like, Shin Osaka? I'm like, oh yeah, right, Shin Osaka. Still learning. When you have an all access pass, you have to go to the guy at the booth or the people at the booth and they will let you through. So now I just have to look for Osaka Station. I believe it's straight ahead. Should be the same platform as yesterday. I think it was seven. noticed about uh, Osaka not a lot of English announcements on the subway so you really got to keep your own eye open not your ear uh, so now I got to find out how to get from here to the castle I have to walk 80 meters to Osaka station Osaka loop line Osaka loop line I'm gonna need to get take the stairs there is an up this train for the next one to take us to the next I don't know why all of a sudden everybody got off the train I'm like okay something something weird is going on let's ask the conductor and they point to me in the right direction so for whatever reason this train had English on it so I'm not sure why some trains have English and some don't. But again, just look for the signs. Hey vlog people, this is a Thirsty Thursdays for the, for the masses on the big channel. So very close to the Osaka castle. Just wanted to have a coffee, make a Thirsty Thursdays. I'm trying as hard as I can to shoot a video when I can. Uh, again, it's a lot of food. <laughs> There's only so much I can eat in a day. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more hint as to what I rated this. Are you ready? <coughs> you decide. Lots of street food. Oh yeah. Gonna make some videos here, people. Yeah, 
All right, guys, here is Osaka Castle. So apparently you can just walk around the grounds, take all your pictures, but it's gonna cost money to actually go inside. And chances are inside, you're not allowed to take a whole lot of photography. Uh, I believe the last, when I was in Hiroshima, they only let me take pictures on certain levels. There was one level, like you couldn't take your phone out, nothing, like there was a guy that's even trying to translate some of the stuff with his translation camera, and the guard's like, no, you can't do it. So let's go in. So a ticket is uh, 600 yen, which is about $7.29. Ah, Suri, so she knows. Arigato. Walking. <laughs> so you can take the elevator, or you can get in faster and walk. Get exercise. Ooh. Hey, nice cannon. So it costs 600 yen to come in, 500 yen for them to let you wear their costumes, or the uniforms, I guess you could say. Uh, and they'll give you a small picture for free. Uh, and then they have this really nice folded piece of paper. Like this. And then that's uh, 1,200 yen. So it's getting expensive. That's another big thing in Japan is this collecting of stickers or stamps. Every uh, temple and shrine will have a little booth like this and you have a special book and you just try to fill up your book with all the different temples all over Japan, which is kind of cool. So that middle floor, you weren't allowed to take pictures and they had people walking around with special signs. No picture, no picture. And they're like very busy because a lot of people want to take pictures. It's a bit of a shame too because they have some beautiful armor uh, that was worn in battle. Helmets, samurai swords. So if you come to Osaka and you want to see that floor, gotta come yourself. I'm thinking this is where the archers would set up and they would shoot down the castle if they were in combat, war, civil war, whatever. Kyoto and Osaka. Oh, <laughs> 
年からおよそ8年の歳月をかけて建設し慶長3年1598年日吉は京都の大墓地で盛大な花見を催した折しも I had to stop at the gift shop, get a bunch of stuff, spent even more money. You could probably spend way more time than I did there. There's tons and tons of history uh, to be read uh, on all those levels. There's at least seven stories, I believe. I think I counted six to seven stories. And every floor is just history after history after history, going way back to the 15th century. All the civil wars, all the battles that they fought. Uh, apparently, I think this was the second castle built on this property. The first one was attacked and burnt down, and then they rebuilt a better one. Uh, I guess the people who took it over, I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know 100% all the history, of course. There's a lot to be read, a lot to be uh, seen. So if you're ever in Osaka, please check out Osaka Castle.